Yeah. <laughs> YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? Uh, it's Engraven here with another video, and I hope that everybody who's watching this, uh, I hope that everything is going really, really good for you. Um, I hope that everything is good with your family, your friends, and definitely, obviously, yourselves. Um, I, I appreciate everybody who has ever taken the time and who continues uh, to take the time to watch any single second of any video that we ever put out. Um, now, with that, um, there are some people who spend uh, time watching the videos and they are not... Uh, really supportive of the videos and hey that's fine like we always talk about not everything is for everybody that has been the case and that will always continue to be the case you can't please everybody and i in my opinion i don't think you should try to because if you do you will drive yourself all kinds of crazy but now um hey Hate uh, is something that I guess sort of comes with the territory. Um, it's something that we're used to. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. It's, it's going to happen, uh, especially even though the channel's still small uh, with growth. Uh, with growth, there will continue to be people that speak negatively about you. Um, but my thing is I know not everybody's going to like our style, the way we do the videos. That's fine. Not everybody's going to agree with all of our opinions on stuff, and that's fine. But a lot of times, when you find that someone or some people or whatever are hating on you, a lot of times, it when you break it down, uh, a lot of it doesn't even make sense. And this was this is something that happened a couple of days ago. I know there were a lot of people on Twitter and stuff who wonder, hey, what's going on? Da -da -da -da. Um, but somebody had brought to my attention something that was going on. And I was like, okay. I, was, I said, what, what's new? It's, it's regular stuff. People just, they, they decide to hate for whatever reason. Um, but what happened the other day? Somebody made a picture of me. They edited a picture of me. Um, and in that picture, they, they put a hat on my head. I think, I think it was a Raven's hat. They, they edited a, a picture of a blunt in my mouth. They had a weed in the background and stuff. Y'all obviously know that's not me. This team keep it clean. It was kind of a poor edit anyway. But... Nonetheless, that was the edit. Um, and on that picture, it was like, oh, uh, it said Lamar. And I'm not going to name anybody's names who were part of this, but they know who they are. I know who they are. Uh, and I've had conversations with all of them. Um, but anyway, um, the person put the picture up and, and the, the caption was like, oh, if, is Lamar leaving? Is some, some, some. Y'all going to stress my guy? Something like that. Something like that. Um, so then under that picture, and this is on Facebook, and I always say, and y'all know, like Facebook is, bleh, Facebook is, not, yeah, y'all know how Facebook is. Like Twitter, like YouTube, it, it could be a little bad sometimes. Twitter, ooh, it could be toxic, but nothing, 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 nothing compares to Facebook, and it's not even close. But anyway, um, so they, they, they put that picture up, and somebody had commented on there, a couple people. One guy was like, oh, man, Engraven, he's so corny. He's, 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 he's so corny. I don't watch his videos no more because he's so corny. And I'm thinking, like, hold up now. I, I, I do love my dad jokes now. So I, I was like, I was thinking, like, hold up. He, he might have a point. Y'all know me. I love me some good dad jokes because dad jokes be the best, man. But then at the same time, hey, if somebody views me as being corny, okay. Like, and, and then one guy, too, he was like, oh, man, Engraven, he be... He'd be in his videos, like, making, like, goofy sound effects and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, like, okay, and? The, would you like me to just talk like this? Would you like me to say every single video like this? Like I am a robot. Like, I, I just, it's like people, if people want to complain, they will find something to complain about, even if it doesn't make sense. Because if I talk just like this, you would complain that I was boring. You see what I'm saying? So even if, because again, we have fun on the channel. We have a lot of fun on here, as y'all know. We don't take anything too seriously. We don't take anybody too seriously. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We have a whole lot of fun on here because I think that's what it should be. It should be fun. It is work. And we do put in a lot of work. But it is fun work. 
we have a lot of fun in the process. And that's what I explained to the gentleman who said that. He was like, oh, man, he engraving so corny and this and that. And he said some other stuff, too. And I replied to him. I said, hey, it's, I said, it's, it's really not that serious. Because he said some stuff that just, he, he, it, it just was not that serious. And I told him that. I replied to him directly. I said, hey, it's not that serious. It's never that serious. I said, on, on our channel, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun in the process. We enjoy what we do. And I said, hey, I, I thank you for any video that you've ever watched. But if it's not for you, that's fine, too. I appreciate any time that you spent watching the channel. And that was it. That's what I told him. Um, so then he sent me a message, like, apologizing, say, oh, I was just joking around and stuff. I was like, okay, I said, I, I, no worries. It's all good. Um, but then there was somebody else uh, who was like, oh, I used to watch engraving back some time ago. Um, and he used to, uh, he used to present, he used to give information. He used to give information that like the average Ravens fan might not have been privy to, but he changed over the years. He changed over the years and, and, and his channel switched to it became so it became opinionated. So now he just says in the, his opinions and so many times he's wrong. His opinions end up being dead wrong. So I looked at that and I was like, not, there's nothing that has changed. Well, I, I feel like the quality has gotten a little better over the years. But besides that, because um, I, I feel like like even that, is, that in itself, think about this. If like er everything that you watch, everything that you listen to is based off of opinion, everything, especially in sports. So I hope the guy that put that, I hope he never watches ESPN that one time. I hope he never watches NFL Network. I hope he never watches FS1. I hope he never watches any sports talk show at all. I hope he never watches anybody's YouTube channel or YouTube video at all. Because all of it is opinion based. This, I feel like, with, again, like I said, if somebody, if they want to complain about something, then they're going to find something to complain about. If I were to, or anybody, not even just me, if I was to just strictly drop the information, like, all right, the other day, Tyree Phillips got cut. We came on, we pressed record. The Ravens released Tyree Phillips. The, they released left guard Tyree Phillips. Uh, he was a, what, a third round pick in 2020, but he was released by the Baltimore Ravens. Done. What does anybody get out of that? What, what, what does anybody get out of that? Because that, that would be me just dropping information and that's it. D should, should I have listed his, his weight, his height, all that stuff? Because it's like, again, people, if people want to complain, they're going to find something to complain about, even if stuff doesn't make sense. So him saying that, oh, my channel is, is opinionated or is, is opinion based now, it's always been that way. And if, if you don't like it or you don't agree with it. Oh, and that, that was another thing. He said that I'd be wrong on a lot of stuff. That is true. I'm wrong on a whole lot. And he kept talking about, he brought up the, uh, oh, the J.K. Dobbins thing. Oh, the engraving said that J.K. Dobbins was probably going to get put on injured reserve and nothing happened. He was wrong about that. Okay. I never once said that I was perfect. I never once said that everything that I say is spot on. Everything that I say is accurate. Everything that I say comes to fruition. I never said that. I don't, I, I know I'm not perfect and I don't try to act like I'm perfect. I know I don't know everything and I don't try to act like I know everything. I, I like <laughs> y'all, y'all know way more than I do. But I, I expressed that to him. I said, hey, some stuff we're going to get right. Some stuff we're going to get wrong. And that's fine. That's life. That's life. But I told him as well. I said, hey, not everything is for everybody. With our channel, yes, it, it, is, it is our opinion because it's our channel. Like, I, I don't understand how people would complain about somebody stating their opinion on their YouTube channel. Think about that. Like, I always tell people, including myself, sometimes instead of writing something down, you got to say it out loud to realize how foolish it sounds. I'm upset at somebody. I hate this person. I don't like this person's videos or whatever because they, I don't like their video. Listen to this. I don't like their videos that they put on their channel because they share their opinion. 
that that doesn't make sense. But again, if somebody's going to find some reason to be mad about whatever, then they're they going to find it. And I, I know I also expressed to him that I, I understand that uh, what we do, it is on a public platform. So people literally from all across the world, they have an opportunity to view it. They have an opportunity to watch it. And it's going to come with some criticism. And that is fine. Nobody, nobody is above criticism. Nobody. But also, nobody is, uh, nobody is underneath hate. Nobody's underneath hate. And if, if, if you are going to hate on somebody, hey, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But again, you'll find so many times when people are hating on something, it doesn't make sense. Somebody else in the same comment section or the same picture, they was like, man, if, if he's so corny, why are y'all watching? Because that's something that I always, I, I always say that if you don't like something, why would you sit there and subject yourself to it? I don't get that. If you don't like something, why would you sit there? You know, you know what? I'm still going to watch this. I'm going to punish myself. I'm, I'm going to torture myself by sitting here and watching something that I don't like. Again, when you say stuff out loud, it helps. It shows how much it just does not make sense. Man, I hate this guy. I hate his videos. But I'm going to watch his videos and I'm going to complain about his videos and I'm going to complain that he does this and that and that and that and that. But I still watch him. Why? Why would you do that? Because, again, who wants to walk around upset? Who wants to walk around? And, and then, I, then I thought it was just, I thought it was just so weird, too. I'm like, man, these are like, these are grown-ups. Somebody made, like grown people, adults. And, again, when you say stuff out loud, it sounds crazy. These are grown-ups that edited a picture of another grown-up to make fun of that grown-up. And it's grown ups under that picture that somebody edited of another grown up and it's grown ups under that picture complaining about that grown up and the way that that grown up conducts his business. When you say it out loud, it sounds goofy. It really does. And then the, the another thing, too, is the, the guy that made the picture. He was like, oh, hey, I, I, I watched the videos, da, 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 which I appreciate. So thank you. But then he was like, oh, uh, if you want me to take the picture down, uh, he, let, he said, let, let me know if you think this picture was, uh, let me know if you think the picture was in bad taste. And I was thinking, like, really? You want me to let you know if the picture was in bad taste? First of all, if you got to ask somebody that question, then you already know the answer to that question. But then I replied to him. I said, hey. I said, if you want to take it down, cool. If you don't want to, cool. Either way, it's fine. Either way, it's fine. I said, you the one that put the picture up. You know what you were doing. So, hey, that, that's, all, that's up to you. I said, I am used to this. It is nothing new. I'm used to people doing stuff like that. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's, that's life. And again, for what we do, especially with it being a public platform, again, people are going to have the way that they feel about it, and that's fine. So that I'm, I'm used to that stuff. Um, but I just thought like, wow, he, he really he really like, oh, do you think it was done in bad taste? Was it in bad taste? If you want to, I could take it. That, like, really? It's team keep it clean. Y'all know how we do on here. And what team keep it clean is, is it's a lifestyle. It's, it's not just for the channel. It's a lifestyle, but it's it's a, a family friendly environment is it's supposed to be welcoming to everybody. Everybody, old, young, boy, girl, mother, father, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandparent, whatever, everybody, friends, fam everybody is welcome. And we always say, yeah, we do predominantly talk Ravens, but it's for every, everybody can come through. Everybody, because we talk about some other teams and stuff, too. And we have, again, we have fun. It's about having fun, a nice, clean fun. It's a good time. So for somebody to put... To edit, to sit, to sit there. And somebody who says they watch the videos. We mentioned Team Keep It Clean literally every single video. So somebody who says they watch the videos and we mentioned Team Keep It Clean every single video. For somebody to sit there 
and edit a picture of, again with me with a blunt in my mouth and weed in the background and you're really gonna ask oh do you was this done in poor taste if you think it's done in poor taste i can take it really come on now again when you say stuff out loud it can help make it make so much more sense now, me, I, I don't have a problem with any of the, the three gentlemen who this is about. I don't have a problem with any one of the three. I remember all of their names. I have zero problem with them. I don't have a problem with anybody. Um, and I hope that if anything was bothering them, whether it be about me, whether it be about the channel, I would just hope that they would, anything that's bothering you, you want to remove yourself from that situation. Because we're not going to change how we do videos. So if somebody's, if, if my sound effects that I make in videos, if that's bothering somebody, don't watch. If my opinion that I'm sharing on my channel, if that bothers somebody, don't watch. I just don't want people to feel like they have to watch the videos because they don't. They don't. And with, with hate, again, it, it comes with the territory. It, it's something that's going to happen. It's something that people are going to do. It's unfortunate. But, again, it, it is exactly uh, what it is. And there's going to be more people that come along the way. And, and that's no matter what you do. I ain't even just talking about me. People just, they, they are going to have to deal with hate in life in general. So, it, it is what it is. Um, but again, I would just hope that there would be logical hate. But then at the same time, if it's logical hate, then I don't really think it would be hate at all. If it's logical, think about it. Say, for instance, me, I, um, I, I, I used to, I, I love Lil Wayne. Anybody ask me, hey, who's your favorite rapper of all time? I always say Lil Wayne. Every single time without fail. Because I remember from, oof, I used to listen to him like way back, way back when he was uh, with the block is hot, Lil Wayne. That, that's where I started listening to him from. Um, so if, if me, I'm not a fan of, um, I'm trying to think of a random rapper. Oh, okay. Like Young Jock. Now, I don't know why he was the first person I thought of, but I'm not a fan of Young Jock. I did like his going down. I did like that, but that, I'm not a fan of overall the way he raps his style, whatever. I'm not going to sit, th especially if I have a choice, because we all have choices. If I have a choice, if I'm getting ready to throw on some music, why would I sit there and be like, all right, you know what? I don't like Young Jock, so I'm going to, and I don't mean to make Young Jock be catching a stray or anything like that, but just using him as an example. If I don't, if my preference is not Young Jock, then I'm not going to sit up there and go on Spotify or Tidal or Apple Music or whatever, or even YouTube, and put it on shuffle on a Young Jock playlist. Why would I do that? Why would I choose to watch something that I've said myself and I've convinced myself that I don't like? Why, that would not make any sense. I'm going to choose something that I do like. So I would go to the Wayne. I would go to the Drake. I would go to whoever. Just had to throw a little Drake in there, just a little bonus. But anyway, you get what I'm saying? You see, when you put it in other scenarios, it just, it, it helps make it make more sense. Even though it already makes sense if we're just talking about like YouTube stuff. But don't, don't subject yourself. I don't want anybody to sub subject themselves to anything that they don't like. I, I really don't. And we said this before in past times when we talk about this kind of stuff. And I feel like, like, again, we, we're not here. Like, what we're trying to do with this... Um, just to, I really do appreciate y'all because um, my guy War Ready, he had brought it up on Twitter. And that's when I first heard about this whole thing. But then um, he brought it up and, and uh, then just so many people, um, they just show so much love. And that's all I say about Team Keep It Clean, man. I, I, I appreciate y'all a whole lot, man. I, I, I really, really do. Like, th think, thinking about, like, how much love people show um it's like make my eyes watery a little bit right now man because people it, and, and it was crazy about it too is that 
so many people didn't even know what happened. They didn't even know what happened. They didn't even know this little backstory or whatever, even though it's not even serious. But they didn't even know what happened. But they still showed so much love, and they were like, ready. I'm like, okay, y'all, y'all calm down now. Hold up now. Calm down. <laughs> Just relax. We, we good. And it's a, a lot of team keep it clean I met before in person. Some I haven't, but people show love, man. And, and the fact that people show, and the, the love that people show um, and the positivity that people show, it outweighs the negativity by tons by far and it's not even close it's not remotely close the two are in two different stratospheres because there, there, there's gonna be negative people and there's gonna be more there's gonna continue to be some of the same ones some old ones some new ones whatever and that's fine but the positive positivity that people show and love that people be showing Boy, it's it ain't the 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 negative people and the negative all that stuff. Again, it's it ain't even close, man. It's not even close, not close at all. And I appreciate y'all for that. Um, support is uh something that you ain't gotta do. You ain't gotta show support to nobody. You ain't gotta show love to people, but when love is shown to you, um. <laughs> You appreciate it even more because it's not a necessity. People, I mean, people should, but people don't have to. People got free will. They got their own choice. So people don't have to show you love. People don't have to show you respect. People don't have to care about you. No, they should. It's better, but they don't have to. They're not obligated to do that. So that's why when they do, you appreciate it so much more. You appreciate it so much more because it's people taking the time out of their day, their schedule, their lives, their family, their this, their that, to come show love for, for about 15 minutes a day. Sometimes 20, <laughs> sometimes 40, sometimes a couple hours, depending on how busy stuff is. Y'all know stuff can get crazy quick. But it's appreciated. It's appreciated. Y'all know we don't really um we don't really focus on stuff like this too often. Um, but I felt like it was a, a good opportunity to just, because again, Team Keep It Clean is family, man. It is family. And I, I just always appreciate how we can be very honest on here. Very straightforward on here with stuff that's going on. And um, I just felt like, like, not necessarily that everybody deserved an explanation on what happened. But I just felt like this was a good opportunity um, to, sh to show you how much your positivity has an impact on me because it does i felt like this was a good opportunity uh to to show y'all just again another level of my appreciation for y'all it, it just continues to go up um because again none of this stuff happens without y'all straight up man nothing none of this stuff if people didn't support then no none of this stuff would happen nothing but y'all support so I appreciate it. But I just really wanted to um, turn their negative, the negative that that was the other day. I just really wanted to take that and, and, and turn it into uh, a positive because that's that's what happened. That's really. And then another thing, too. See, th this is this is something that's. I guess haters or whatever, they, they, they may not understand it, but this is reality. Say, for instance, <clears throat> you're hating on somebody. You're hating on their work, their job, their whatever. You're hating on the way that they do things. A lot of times, well, really every time, the haters, misery loves company. So a lot of times what people that hate on what you do, what they'll do, they'll, they'll, they'll put it in a public form or whatever, and they'll try to get other people to be like, hey, they'll, they'll be like, hey, this is why I hate, and for, for the channel example, this is why I hate his videos. This is the reason. They'll, con they'll convince themselves of why they hate your videos. If you got to convince yourself of why you hate somebody's videos, do you really need to make it public? Think about it. If, if you really don't like the videos, again, don't watch. But anyway, <laughs> see, again, say stuff out loud. It, it helps it make or show how much it doesn't make sense. But anyway, people will convince themselves first on how much they hate your videos, but then they'll try to convince other people too. Because again, misery loves company. So what does this do? So there are going to be some people that agree. There are going to be some people that don't agree, but that's fine. 
But for the people that agree, like, oh, man, hey, yeah, I agree with you. I hate his videos, too. I hate the way he does this. I hate the way he does that. So they're going to be other people. They're going to be some people that agree that won't press that like button because they're like, oh, I don't want to get involved. And they're going to be some people that disagree that won't press that like button or dislike button because, hey, I don't want to get involved. I'm just watching from afar, seeing what they say. But either way, the people that see those haters' comments, they're going to look at those comments like, huh. And they're going to think to themselves, like, man, is that is that really true about his his videos? The, the, does he do that? Oh, does he do this? Oh, man. Was he wrong about that? Oh, man. He. Oh, they, wow. OK. Is he. So they're going to be thinking about all that. All that stuff is going to go be processing in their minds. And then what are they going to do? They're going to watch and analyze for themselves. But guess what? Guess what all that Hayden did? It brings more people to the thing that you're hating on. So if you hate it that much, you don't realize that your hate, it can help the other person's success that you're hating on. When you make your hate public, people can be like, oh, whoa, well, you know what? Let me check out, check it out for myself to see what this guy's talking about. And then they go see what you're talking about. And hey, they, sometimes they may still agree. And other times they may not agree. They may be like, oh, what was that person talking about? I actually like this stuff. It can go either way. But my point is, when you hate, especially publicly, you generate even more traffic to the person or thing that you're hating on. So that you're negative, it turns it into a positive because you helped them out. So again, when you say stuff out loud, it helps you see just how foolish hating is.